industry is evolving all the time, particularly now that the new companies are investing in various kinds of smart glasses and devices. By 2028, experts predict that the space will be worth 340.16 billion US dollars. Hello and welcome to XR Today, I'm your technology presenter Isabel Blakemore and in this video we're going to be looking at the basics of AR technology and how it works to influence what we see around us. Of course, before we can justify investing in new solutions like AR for your business, you need to understand how the technology works. While many of us have heard of augmented reality today, there are still those who don't understand how devices can bring digital content into the real world. Augmented reality, or AR, augments the environment by adding new digital content into a live camera feed or situation. AR solutions can do everything from transforming your face into a potato to giving you directions as you walk through a store. So let's get into the components of AR and talk about how AR works. There are various kinds of augmented reality in the world today. Smart glasses and visors allow us to see technology displayed in front of our eyes on a miniature screen. No matter the kind of AR you're investing in, each technology will include components like these. So the first one is the hardware. AR doesn't always feature headsets like VR devices, though smart glasses are growing increasingly popular. However, hardware is still a necessity. In order for AR to work on a smartphone, for instance, it needs access to processors and sensors that can accommodate computer vision and processing. This is why phones with limited speed struggle with AR. The hardware also needs access to GPU, graphical processing unit to render an AR-enhanced displays and various sensors. So the second one is the software. The software is the second component of the AR device and this is where the magic really starts. Developer toolkits like AR Core and AR Kit support the creation of software which delivers computer vision into applications. Environmental understanding is one of the most important components of AR software, allowing your device to see specific features on flat surfaces so it can perceive its surroundings. In doing this, the system can then place virtual objects on the surfaces accurately. Motion tracking also ensures your devices can determine its position relative to the environment, so you can plant objects in the right designated spots on the image. And the third and final component of an AR experience is the application. The software which enables computer vision allows for AR applicators to run on your smartphone. With an app, you can do specific things like AR functionality, like view objects in real time from a store catalog to get an insight of what they might look like in your home. The AR application comes with its own database of virtual images, triggering logic and other components to make the AR experience more compelling. Most modern phones come with a high amount of memory and processing power, so they can accommodate things like AR applications. So now moving on to augmenting reality with digital technology. Unlike virtual reality, which aims to bring people into a new virtual space, augmented reality is all about enhancing the world around us. It does this by using software, hardware and applications to better understanding the world around you and impose content into that environment that looks and feels as natural as possible. Once the system understands your surroundings, it pulls information and images from the AR app to bring it into your environment in an organic way. A rendering module augments the frame with the AR game to ensure it precisely overlaps the environment in question. Since augmented reality happens in live action, the map changes every time you move your camera. Most modern phones work at around 30 frames per second, allowing the AR experience to follow your movement, though it may sometimes be a little slow. As we move into the future of augmented reality, developers are working on ways to make AR experiences as immersive as possible. It also means that teams are working on bringing faster processing into hardware so all of the various things that need to be done to enable an AR experience can happen faster. AR smart glasses will also further enhance the opportunities available through AR by replacing the need to hold the phone with a set of glasses that respond in real time. Access to 5G connections and stronger technology should make these tools particularly impressive going forward. That's all from me, but if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to stay up to date on the latest technology news and reports here on the XR Today channel, you can click subscribe for more videos and updates. Thanks for watching.